You know, <laughs> Heather, you're at the State Fair. There is so much history at the great Minnesota get together. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just year after year. And this year you could actually go on a special history walking tour. And that includes five new stops. Heather, do you have the brochure? I do. I got the brochure right here. One of the stops actually on this brochure is the building that is right behind me, the Agricultural Horticulture Building, or Ag Hort, as most of us know it out here. This building is turning 75 years old this year. And I, I didn't know this because I was reading all about it. Uh, the building that was here before burnt down, burnt to the ground huh. three years before they built this building here back in 1947. But it's got all the cool stuff, you know, the stuff that I love, the crop art, the giant pumpkins, the flowers. Mm -hmm. I love this building here. She's just dying to get in. Just dying, dying to get in, in, that in there. Building. Yeah. yeah. I, I, oh, I already. Don't worry, you two. I already snuck in. It didn't open until nine, but the state fair people like you can go check it out. Yeah. I saw <laughs> what you posted on social media on Instagram with some of those gourds. Mm -hmm. I mean, those things are yeah. huge. Those things surprise me every year. Yeah, 1665, 1665 <laughs> pound pumpkin. Oof. My goodness. Yeah. The thing I, I found really interesting looking at this brochure was food at the fair, since we're always talking about food. But, <laughs> Why not? You know, in the early days mm -hmm. of the fair, they did not have food halls. You had to bring your own food to the fair. And then some of the first <laughs> things that were available for purchase, peanuts, watermelon, popcorn, and lemonade. Those were the first things that really, you okay. know, that you, that you could buy at the mm -hmm. fair. And now look what it is it absolutely exploded to what you can do at the fair. Yeah, they right. would uh, back in the day, they would be looking mm -hmm. at us now being like, are you people insane? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I like the pictures of the cattle barn, <laughs> you know, like the old time yeah. cattle yes. barn with like the long pants. Like these people are wearing, you know, a full suit. Could you imagine wearing a full suit mm -hmm. in the summer in a cattle barn? Oh my gosh. I mean, you wore your no. Sunday best, right? And the cattle barn is fair. one, of, yeah, for sure. It's one of the original buildings too. What's cool about this this walking tour here? It has 12 different spots. Some of them are no longer here. So you look at the one mile track where they uh, was built for horse uh, race horses out there. They have since replaced that uh, now with the uh, tra the transit hub. Um, but it's cool to know what was here back all these you know hundred years ago. What the state fair used to be and how it stayed true to a lot of its you know ag traditions here. Uh, any the the animal Animals that are still out here. Yeah. It's it's really neat to go through and look at this thing. So, and for people who are interested in history, I mean, they have like a little thing. And yeah. You get you tag all of them. You, there's 12 stops. You get a prize at the mm -hmm. end. That's pretty so sweet. if you want to, you can pick one up at any tour stop <laughs> on the fairgrounds, the JV Bailey House or the History and Heritage Center. But yeah, absolutely, pick one of these up and uh, learn something new about the fair that you may, maybe didn't know before.